Everybody has their own way of doing street photography. I think it's just mostly about being like observant and aware. Inspiration, the word inspiration, that's like totally overrated. Curiosity is a lot more important than fucking inspiration, you know? The traveling, it goes really well together with the photography. You go to a place that you don't know, which is different from your own home country, and you're curious, you know? Because something looks different, there's a different way of doing things, right? This house, this crossing, this fucking car, whatever, these people, they look completely different. The sun, like, gives a different light. Seriously, like in LA, when I take photos, the light is completely different than any, any place in the world that I've taken photos in. I haven't taken a single good photo in my own hometown. I'm not curious, you know? It's my problem with LA. It's too fucking relaxed. That's why I think I would fit in New York a lot more. I'm impatient, I'm nervous. New York just makes a better fit for me. Since I was like a little kid, I always wanted to go to New York. And the first time I ever, I ever went there, I felt like at home. I think it's just the diversity because there's so many people, everybody's from all over, not only all over the US, from all over the world. The idea of LA is mostly filmmaking, Hollywood, posh areas, Beverly Hills, Bel Air. What kind of surprised me the most is how gritty, grungy rock and roll LA is. The way people like dress, all the all the buildings, the murals, the the graffiti, the stores over here. It's very, it's very rock and roll. Being self-conscious is a big problem for me, like not only in my private life, but also in the photography that I do. I can't even tell you how many times I could have taken like a really great picture. The only reason I didn't take it because I was so self-conscious that I'm gonna take out the camera, somebody's gonna see me, everything is perfect. I, I can see, I can see the picture. All I have to do is just take the camera out of my bag, aim it at the person, and what's the worst that can happen? But I'm still so self-aware that I kind of freeze. I'm never proud of the photos that I take. Well, I am for about 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, I'm thinking, I could have done this better. I could have done this differently. I look at a photo that I took two days ago and I'm like, oh, that was a long time ago. Now, you know, now I've learned so much, you know, in the last two days, I could have, I could do it completely differently, better. I guess it sometimes works well because it just makes me keep trying. My ideal photograph would be one where it's one frame, but you can actually sort of imagine the frames before it and the frames after it. It's about a good story. That's, that's what I love about photography. First of all, I'm on the wrong side of the camera, okay? So fuck you, <laughs> okay? <laughs>